Hey everyone, it's Ren. I'm going to be taking a look at Space Otter Charlie, which is a game that has otters in space, which are probably two of the best combinations uh, one could want in any game. So we're going to dive right in. We're going to take a look at this game. So I am playing it with a controller. It recommends that you play with a controller, so right now I'm with my Xbox controller, obviously. So there is a single player and a multiplayer. I'm just gonna play single player so you can get a look at a so you get a look at the game. Yeah, we're gonna delete uh, previous save. <laughs> I don't think I had a save before, but all right. So a little backstory. Uh, so the humans have left. It's the early 2500s. So years and years and years from now. I guess things got a little too a little hot and crowded, so all the humans jumped on their on their rockets and left. Unfortunately, uh, they left all the creatures behind. Which is, which is a shame. So it wasn't any cooler, so it was time for the otters to act. So they built ships of their own. And uh, they went into space, which is amazing. So you get a, you get a sense about what this game's about. I know, I think it's highly amusing. I'm all about otters in space. In fact, I'm about games uh, with otters in them. Don't think there's enough of them. I think there, there could be more. Just three otters floating through the void, which is, which is excellent. So what I really like, I mean, so far, I mean, you can just tell the, uh, <laughs> The art style is is really retro tastic. It's uh, pretty great. So there's an abandoned ship. We're gonna go uh, get some fuel because we're we're kind of drifting in space. So you're gonna send Charlie over in the L pod to check it out, <laughs> which he is more than happy to do. So the nice thing about this game also is that as it transitions, it gives you a little tidbit of information about otters <laughs> in case anyone wanted to know about otters. I think it's really, I think that's very cute. So the thing is, is that you do a lot of moving around uh, in zero G. It takes some getting used to. Um, but after a while, after a while, you, you start getting a hang of how much thrust you should give uh, give Charlie here in moving around. And then he has, uh, well, you'll see. So he uh, can jump anywhere and then he's got some mag boots that kind of uh, help him to attach to surfaces. And then you have to get these uh, kind of this ener these energy uh, energy bubbles. So while holding down A, you could steer with uh, the left left joystick, and then you change the direction. So you could go everywhere. You can uh, go do some loop de loops if you want. I'm not really good at I'm not good with it yet. <laughs> You get the hang of it. He just kind of cruises. But the thing is, the minute he gets close to uh, to a wall, he just kind of he automatically gravitates towards it, which can be helpful. Sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes it kind of can get in the way, especially if you're just trying to, you know, move around and you get a little bit too close to something. So then you get like a little ray gun, which is which is cool. 
<laughs> which is very helpful in opening up uh, gates. So before I head to the L pod, I have to do 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 something and get some more energy pods. <laughs> I like the uh, yeah. yeah. It's a it's a pretty amusing game so far. See, he's just kind of floating around. It's actually pretty easy to move him. Uh, I there's I don't see any issues moving him around. You just gotta be really gentle with the uh, the thrust on the jetpack to get to some of these kind of uh, close areas. And you can kind of click, kind of hang out here. I think I'm supposed to move this. So I'm going to move this. I think this thing has got to go. You know, I mean, seriously, this thing's got to move. I'm just going to write it down. Try and get those energy pods. Slow going, slow going. But I'm patient. <laughs> Great. And we can, uh... destroy some things. I can move them around. I like just hanging out and trying to move things with my jetpack. <laughs> like these things, you can't destroy them, but you can uh, get on top of them and move them. So I could kind of just push it away. So we're going to go down here. Spaceships. So I'm going to approach the Valencia station. So yeah, I mean overall, it's so far it's so so far it's a cute game. There's not really anything tricky about this game, which is which I like. It's just pretty straightforward. It's like you have your jetpack, you move around, you shoot with your laser. I like I enjoy the characters. Yeah, so here we're getting to Valencia Station again. We're still trying to look for some uh, some fuel. And then you can read <laughs> there's some information about otters. So I gotta look for fuel and some useful tech is what I'm gonna do here at Valencia Station. So I'm gonna get some energy pods. And get all the energy pods. I think this is another weapon I can use. Oops. Oh no. Don't touch anything. Now I have a reflector. I'll need some flecto. Some flectum tie. Flectum? Be on the lookout for purple canisters. All right, I can look for some purple canisters. Make sure not to hit anything. I think this is a. Uh... Oh no! I knew it. Anything that looks like an eye is not good. So there's a rodent elimination system, which is unfair. I'm not. Charlie's not a rodent. He's an otter. So now they're going to send some send some enemies after me, which I do not appreciate. And then there's some urchins. <laughs> oh, which give me super strength. Look at my gun. No! Oh, he's having too much fun he's having too much fun and we gotta go back we gotta go back not only does the mega actually make me invincible uh, but it gives me uh, a really powerful <laughs> a really powerful uh, laser for a brief moment 
So that's that's a bit of fun. So I'm just gonna be shooting these guys. You guys do hurt. So my basic laser does some does some damage. It takes a few shots, but it's fine. So now there's this. Okay, so this is closed, so I can bypass it. I don't think I missed anything here, which is nice. So I'm just gonna cruise by that. Come back around. Hang out on here. And let these platforms move me. So I have some Flectomite. Looks bouncy, so now I think I can power up that reflector laser. You find a couple more, you should be able to build that reflector ray. Okay, so I'm gonna go find some more. I still need to get these energy pods that are here. So I'm gonna do that. And then since this is a preview, there's some areas I can't go to just yet, but know that there's a lot more to explore. Uh, once uh, you get the full game, I'm sure you'll get some uh, cool items. Of course, another area that you can't get to. So now I gotta go this direction. So there's uh, some fire that hurts. <laughs> have to avoid the fire. And of course, there's another laser here. In order to get the map, I have to try and get past it. So go get this uh, energy pod and go back. So I'm just gonna move this. Maybe it'll protect me. From the rays. I'm just gonna leave that there. Hopefully nothing will hurt me. And a map. So you can kind of see there's still a lot to explore. I mean there's an upper level that I can't get to uh, which I'm sure has uh, things for me to to find this section down below. So basically I'm just going in a straight line uh, to where that star is. But yeah, other other areas to explore. Once I'm able to, so I'm gonna collect more of these energy. Nope, get away. <laughs> that looks dangerous. Anything with the, uh, anything with some <laughs> electricity. It's probably a bad thing that I'll want to avoid. Again, another area that's probably blocked off. And it is. So I'm going to avoid that because it's fire. So what I'm going to do is shoot this, I think. Oh, which, oh no, it's a timer, it's a timer, it's a timer. You can kind of see the timer on the bottom. These are about to be about to power back up in a second. And I made it. Bubbles everywhere. Okay, I go get this last one. So I have to find a builder robot to build the reflector. The reflector ray is actually pretty nice, which you'll see. Of course, I have to keep uh, keep an eye out on my health. The nice thing is, is that those energy pods are healing me. So I'm gonna go talk to this bot. So now I can build a nice reflector ray as long as I have the right parts. So you could kind of see there's parts that you need to, that you need to find and collect some gears, some tape, 
Um, I'm sure and throughout the game you'll use these parts uh, to build you know hopefully better weapons or better jetpack <laughs> but definitely uh, better weapons so here is the reflector ray which is pretty nice so I'm gonna equip it so there's my reflector ray that's the basic laser I've been using and this is the reflector ray which reflects soft surfaces. <laughs> very useful. It's a very useful uh, ray to have. It's not as powerful as my uh, as my other ray, but you'll find that you'll need to use it. You know, it takes a it takes a couple more shots to take down those floaty heads. Which right now is not horrible. It's not too difficult. But reflector ray is really useful when you need to uh, shoot something. It needs to reflect off of something. So I've opened that. Wait, should I go and uh, see what's over here? Is there anything up here? No, I was just there. There's one more floaty head. I'm not going to mess with mess with that right now. So I'm going to go down here. See where it takes me. All right. So I'm getting some more parts do a little bit exploring and see what's over here. Okay. Gotta be careful here. Get some more parts. Oh, let's go get this, uh, get some tape. Nope. Got nowhere to shoot things. There we go. First try. Get some more energy. All right. The more energy, the better. Trying to avoid enemy shots. Perfect. Ooh. You have to be careful. <laughs> you have to be careful or you get smushed. Nice thing about it is that it'll start you in a pretty decent area. It's not like you have to go back to a save point. Uh, it just puts you a little bit of ways and you don't really use that, lose that much progress. Which is nice. You have to be very careful, especially when moving around with the jetpack. You know, you're, you're only so fast. So you have to time. You have to time uh, where you're going. Oof. Careful, let's be careful. Getting up all these parts, which is nice. Ah, oh, that's very cool. So you get some secret areas, pick up some more parts, and you're back. Try not to get smushed in the process. So you picked up some shields, which is great. And there's a key that I need in order to get to the next part. So I gotta be sure that I don't get smushed. Oop. Or I could just go back in this hole. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Or get out of it. So timing is kind of important in this area. No point in uh, rushing. That was very close. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, little guy. There we go. guy head on. Alright, so I got some more parts. I'm fully healed. I'm getting this key and I'm out of here. Alright. Great work. So then I can go back and open that lock door that had the star on it. Maybe, just maybe, I'll find some fuel. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. As I said, the reflector is great for some for some things. Uh, probably not a good main weapon. So now we're going to go to this key area here. And we're going to see what's waiting for us. Now we have access to the hangar not bad not bad I've only died once <laughs> once so far but now uh, we kind of come to our first boss fight this uh, rude screen who is kind enough to welcome me to my doom of course reminding this rude screen that I'm an otter, not a robot or a rodent. <laughs> of course, there's always a boss that wants to laser you, so... <laughs> so we have to fight him. Of course, he's yelling at me and I don't know why. It's very rude. So this is a pretty straightforward... Uh, straightforward fight. He shoots lasers at you, but you have to use the laser. You have to use the uh, lasers against it. Which you could be really sneaky about. Of course, he's very mad at me. So you finish that. He gets mad at you because you destroyed his shields. He sends the drones, but now he's lost his, uh... So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my slightly better ray. To avoid the... Kind of the electricity there. And then kind of rinse and repeat on this. But... You know, second round, you'll start sending a lot of drones uh, at you. And you have to defeat them in order to be able to uh, be able to attack them again. So it's a lot of moving around here. Of course, try not to you can't stay on it too long if you're over here because then he'll try and electrocute you again so we get some parts so I'm going to attack him again again sends all the drones <laughs> all the drones so you wanted that so in this battle you definitely don't want it stand on him on this big screen because he's got you know electricity going you'll want to stand on the like the sides you want to stand on the sides to defeat him while well, looking for is there, uh, any more any more uh, floaty heads I should be aware of I don't see any of them nope they're there there 
makes him very upset. So we're gonna do this again. More drones, more drones, more drones, and of course, don't get uh, don't get careless. Those can hurt, and you do have to kind of rely on the energy and the energy pods to be able to heal yourself. And these are these drones aren't dropping those uh, heals. You have to be very careful of how close you get to the screen. How close you get to those drones. Because your health is very limited. But. Can easily. Be taken out. <laughs> I fear. I, I feel like this. Uh, this screen is really upset with me. I'm sure it won't be the last time I see it. Of course it's called me a rodent and a badger which is really just gets under my skin. <laughs> so I am so out of here. That's pretty great. So he's gonna he's gonna stay mad. I'm going to get the fuel that I need, which, uh, which is great. And then I'm going to get back to the raft and we're going to get out <laughs> or I get otter here. I really appreciate otter puns. <laughs> I really appreciate otter puns. It's not much. It doesn't take a lot to get me excited about otter puns. So I, I really appreciate those. So getting some final parts, we're going to jump back on our raft and away we go. See, see you try, now it's a, uh, try and sympathize, but really that evil cackling laughter means that that's not the last you've seen of that particular enemy. So all of the energy stores get placed in, uh, in that canister. Great work with this fuel, we'll be able to explore the galaxy. And it wasn't very hard at all. But a giant computer, a giant angry screen, being very angry with me and yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, right. And it called me a rodent. I don't appreciate that. Look at how angry he is. But yeah, we're not going to let it get to us. But I really doubt that we've put it behind us. Let's just get Otter here and find the next deadly thing to explore. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find a new home. So yeah, you've reached the end of this short, re short preview, but the adventure has just begun. So yeah, so that's pretty much space... Otter Charlie is that's yeah it's so far so far it's a it's a cute game so far it's a very cute game uh, what will be built out in the game not entirely sure yet hard to judge it by uh, by a preview but you kind of get an overall feel for the game you have these adorable otters, the art style is great, the music is actually quite lovely. Uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty simple, it's a pretty simple game so far. You have your lasers, but I'm sure in time, you know, we'll, we'll learn more about you know, what kind of weapons you can get in the game. I got a plan for, I believe it was shields, that, you know, there will be some crafting in this game and collecting resources uh, in every map that you reach. And I'm sure, you know, you won't see the last of that giant computer. Seems to me that that computer is going to play a major role uh, in this story. So if not, it's the, you know, it's the main villain of the story, the main antagonist of the story. So 
which is fine. I've defeated it once. I'm sure I can defeat it, defeat it multiple times. So yeah, the adventure has just begun. Hopefully we'll see more of this game soon. I am completely invested in a game with the space otters. I've been looking for a game like this for a while, so I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed the preview. Uh, hopefully I will be able to pre preview a few other games on the channel, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll be back.